Services, My name's Joe Cox and I formed Defence Security Services UK Limited back in 1996. I started with Defence Security Services at the beginning, day one. Um, I was the first employee and I've been here ever since. We've been trading now for over 10 years. We started obviously quite small, just the two of us and it's grown to the company it is today. I'm Mary Kellard, I'm the company secretary. I love working here. Yeah, I think it's that one. Our security personnel are really friendly. They have got a very good relationship with the clients. Well, I've been working for Joe for nearly 10 years now. Um, my basic duties are to do static guarding, mainly gate duties, letting vehicles in and out and do a little bit of searching. I am very fortunate and proud to have frontline dog handlers from an ex-service background. Uh, I'm Chris Lowndes, I'm employed by Defence Security Services as a security dog handler. Um, I've been a professional dog handler for 18 years. I started my career with dogs in the Royal Air Force Police as a police dog handler. For the past four years I've worked for Defence Security Services. <laughs> We work for some of the biggest security companies in the UK. We can look after parks, we can look after commercial property, we can also look after individual and residential properties. Well Joe and I are the, are the initial people that go out and meet the clients and um, we deal with all aspects of the job. Um, Joe and I will, will normally be the first two people, we'll, we'll cover the job for the first week or two ourselves. We will set up the job, get the job right, actually liaise with other handlers and put the right handler and the right dog on the job. Hi Joe. Yes. Is anything happening? I started Not Neighborhood today? Watch yeah. after moving into the neighborhood and hearing lots of uh, crime that has been reported by my neighbors and after hearing each incident I looked into starting up a private security scheme with a private guard and dog and um, we realized it was feasible people were interested and they were willing to pay a certain amount towards that and so um, we hired one company which lasted for about six months but we weren't happy with their re reliability. Defense Security Services uh, is a highly professional company and we hired them for 10 hours a day for a shift with one security guard and a trained guard dog. Now this is a huge deterrent in crime for our streets. Sam on Sunday and then Paul's back again on Monday. Good, good. Um, I can yell at you if I need help. Okay. <laughs> In the areas that we work in Chelsea, it's become sort of a family feel because we do know every householder uh, by name and they know us and they know our dogs. And this brings it into the dog's Hiya. family. Hello, Rocky. So it encourages them to protect the people who he actually knows. If we want uh, to be escorted from our cars at night, if we have to park around the corner, you just call him, he meets you at your car, brings you home to your door. It was the level of professionalism that distinguished defense security services from other security firms. Professionalism with regard to their ability to be diligent, comprehensive in their patrolling of the neighborhood. Most importantly is their ability to connect with the neighborhood. Joe, I want you to see this, please. Um, the clients can ring up, they can ring the personnel, they can find out what's going on. We also keep um, a record book of every single incident that happens together with an incident log sheet. The incident log sheet gets sent to the client whilst we keep a copy. That enables us to go back, see where the problem areas are, discuss it with our clients, and everyone seems quite happy with that. Um, as a neighborhood watch coordinator, I work closely with the police and they really want to know now what the community wants for them and how they can help. 
The work that we actually do in Chelsea is very high profile. The vehicles are highly marked and so are ourselves. And because we have a dog with us, we are very noticeable. Um, and everybody does get to know that we are in the area, and especially the police. And we do have a good working relationship with the police. Um, one instance was when our guard and dog found live ammunition on our street. Uh, the police were called. They blocked off the street. And then they asked our guard to um, take the dog around and patrol to see if there was any more on the street because it would take two hours for a police dog to get to the scene and they were worried what would happen in between. This is a voluntary neighborhood scheme. We can't expect everybody to want to contribute, but since defense has started in our neighborhood, we've seen a huge interest. I would imagine in the next few months when we do a resubscription that we'll see a marked uptake in the number of people who want to be part of the scheme. We've covered housing estates in Brixton, Camberwell, um, in, and Kennington. Um, all different aspects. Um, it's not necessarily, security is not necessarily for the privileged, it's for everyone. Defence Security Services also has a number of firearms and explosive search dogs and we work for various large companies and other large security companies and we fill a gap where the police and the military cannot cover that. Baby. Steady, 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 steady. Good lad. Up. Up. After the 9-11 terrorist attack in America, we were carried out uh, the search work on Canary Wharf. We also do a lot of residential areas, offices for search work. In today's climate of terrorism, we pride ourselves on having one of the fastest reaction times within the industry. The security industry dog is there to deter, detect and protect. Three o'clock in the morning when you're on a lonesome site and you're confronted by three people. You have got to be able to deal with the situation, search, find and remove. Dogs aren't tailored to one specific role, they can work in any environment. Out of some of the jobs that we've done, for example, are the Royal Family of Dubai, Elton John's fundraiser, and London Marathon, which we do on a yearly basis. In our society, drugs are a common problem. There's no point in hiding the facts, whether you're at work, at school, or out on a good night out. Yeah, uh, I've been the manager of the Drayman for uh, two and a half years, head of uh, security. Uh, I've had the door team that I've had now from the start. Um, makes a lot of difference to uh, have a very good door team, does half the job and uh, people feel secure. We're just here to reassure the uh, public, deal with any situations as quick and efficient as possible, make all the public feel at ease. Welcome to um, Defence Security's basic job training course. My name is Stuart Naisbet, I'm a approved training provider for the security industry. I provide a number of courses throughout the industry from basic security guard to security manager. When I joined the industry 30 years ago, the industry was deemed to be a job. Nowadays, with the improvements of training, added value, it is now a profession. The training course which I undertook when I first started working for Defence Security Services was in two parts. Half of it is practical and the second half is a written exam. In diversity, searching, patrolling, law, health. I've worked with Joe Cox from Defence Security for approximately three years now. We originally started by training his um, handlers in basic licensing requirement. We've continued to do that quite successfully. Um, on joining, I underwent a two-week training course um, just to bond with the dog, enhance the training for me to get to know the dog. Sit! Watch! Watch him! Watch him! Say hello. Out! 
I teach and train dog handlers from basic level, from novice to professional. Uh, we take them through all forms of training, British Institute accreditation and uh, NASDO accreditation, which is basic level, to advanced levels of building search and riot control. Dog coming out! Guard dog is no longer wanted. They're now trained operational Six. security patrol dogs. They have to be level-headed, user-friendly, and they actually live at home with the families. The dogs and handlers go through rigorous and harsh training, and the training is quite strict. When is your dog allowed to bite? Never. What is your main role as an operational canine unit? Prevention and protection of property and people. Excellent. Come on, show yourself. Let's the dog in. Last warning. Come on, show yourself. Good lad. Good lad. So along with this, they have to have security industry authority license, BS7858 clearance screening certificates, and up-to-date formal training certificates with the dog and handler. We were very impressed with how important uh, security and industry regulations were to defense security services. Our company advised by the Dangerous Dogs Act, the Guard Dogs Act and the New Animal Welfare Act, which we are glad has been put into place because not everybody has the same standard as us. My current dog is Rocky, he's a two-year-old German Shepherd. Um, and like with all the handlers who work for Defence Security Services, we all take our dogs home. They are with us 24-7. fine line between being a pet and being a security dog and at home he does relax with the family but once he goes out the front door and gets in the vehicle he's back into work mode and ready for the night's patrol. Well, what I hope the company will aim for in the future is that we will grow slowly and steadily as we have done over the past 10 years. Quality not quantity, good properly trained dogs, good properly trained staff that represent our company which I'm proud of. They're on the ball. They're very professional, reliable, and I highly recommend them. Mm -hmm.